because we have now had four months in a row where inflation is showing that it's between 2.4 to 2.6%, which is clearly higher than that 2% target. Now, that's why everyone's thinking they're probably not going to cut here as soon as people hoped. But we're kind of in this weird in between right now where it's not getting down to where we want. I don't think talking about rate increases, I think that's way too preemptive right now. I think probably the next move is still going to be okay. down just later than people hoped. All right, so we're one day away from seeing that year over year, in Q1 at least, wages increased by 4%. The average over the 10 years before the pandemic, it was about just over 2%. But right now, your are word of the day. You're worried about stagflation. I'm not worried about stagflation. I think that is absolutely the hot button that's in, in on Wall Street right now, right? Everybody is talking about that. Is that the concern? I don't think it's something to be concerned about, but you're absolutely going to be hearing people talking about that. The reason we don't think it's it's necessarily a concern is because you are continuing to see GDP numbers are strong. We're seeing GDP increase about 3% year over year, which really negates the whole stag part or stagnant part of stagflation. And because we're in this growing economy, the consumer is still strong, wages are growing, people are able to sustain this higher inflation. That's why we can keep going even if rates stay higher for longer here. So I don't think this is a concern. When you look at where rates are, okay. historically speaking, they are still low. They have been able to sustain very positive uh, periods of the economy when rates are where they are. So you're going to hear more people mention stagflation. I would not worry about okay. that.